Welcome to our lesson on model earnings. This is a central part of the business side of modeling because this is how you make your living. Listen, I hope you truly love modeling and that's why you've chosen to pursue it. I want you to have fun with modeling and use it to express yourself. But if you're going to be professional, modeling is also part of your job. It's how you pay your bills, it's how you buy everything else you need. So talking about earnings is important to anyone looking to have a career as a model. There is no simple answer to the question, how much money will I make as a model? There are all kinds of models who do all kinds of jobs. Some of those jobs pay a little, and some pay enough money to buy your own jet. And there's every size paycheck in between those two. So, what's a tier system? Don't worry, it's not the way you end up crying because you're broke. <laughs> Tiers are levels, and the tier system for models' earnings tells you where they are in terms of making money. It's not exact, but it'll give you a good idea of how successful you are, or can be, as a model. The first tier is a big one. If you're a first tier model, you work in the biggest markets in the industry. You work in New York, London, Milan, Paris. You work for national or even worldwide advertisers modeling their products. This is the tier models like Heidi Klum and Giselle are on. If you're on that tier, you're what's called a money girl, and it's exactly like it sounds. A first tier model can make $50,000 or more for a single show. The second tier is mostly for catalog models. The big markets for second tier work are places like Hamburg, Germany, Cape Town in South Africa, Miami and Chicago in the US, and even Osaka and Tokyo in Japan. Even though second tier models aren't superstars, they're models you've probably seen before, maybe even a lot. Second tier models do pretty well for themselves. They still get to travel a lot, and a typical day rate for them is $1,500 to $5,000 per day, depending on the model and client. Finally, we have the third tier. This is where every model usually starts. It's the bottom, but there's nothing wrong with that in the beginning. In the third tier, you work for local advertisers with smaller budgets. You also work for local magazines and boutique shops. A lot of third tier models are even paid in trade instead of money. That means the client will work with you in exchange for clothes or products that they sell. Now, a major department store might be in your town and they often will pay more and pay real money. The rates depend on your agents. That's the end of the first part of our lesson. Hopefully you're starting to get a sense of what type of models earn what kind of money and where you'll start on that scale. In part two, we'll talk about working with a talent agency and how that will affect how much you earn as a model. Since you'll need an agent to be successful in this industry, you'll want to pay attention to our next part. I'll see you there.